Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at the Disney Afternoon, Disney Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Dale and Zipper collectible action figure from Funko. So stay tuned. As I said today, we're taking a look at the Disney Afternoon, Disney Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Dale and Zipper, collectible action figures from Funko. We already took a look at Scrooge McDuck, Baloo the Bear, Chip, and now we got Dale and Zipper. As I said before, I have found this guy at GameStop uh, on clearance, 50% off. He ended up being like six something after tax. Uh, give you guys a little bit of a rundown on Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I will be reading from their Wikipedia page, so bear with me. In 1989, Chippendale became the title characters in a new animated television series, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, in which they formed a detective agency with new characters created for the show. Female mouse inventor Gadget Hackwrench, muscular adventuring Australian mouse Monterey Jack and Zipper the Fly. While in the original shorts, the duo were frequent troublemakers who are concerned only with themselves. In Rescue Rangers, they are crime fighters who help the less fortunate. In this series, the personality differences between the two are more pronounced, with Chip as the responsible no-nonsense leader and Dale as the goofy, laid-back free spirit. Additionally, they wear clothes in the series which reflect their personalities. Chip wears a leather jacket and fedora, much like Indiana Jones, while Dale wears a Hawaiian shirt much like Magnum P.I. Also, Corey Burton gave Dale a slightly raspier voice not heard in any incarnations before. Chip and Dale's first prototype appearance was in Private Pluto in 1943. Their first official appearance was in Chip and Dale, 1947. They were created by Bill Justice, and Dale was voiced by Desi Flynn from 1947 to 1960, Desi Miller in 1952, and Corey Burton from 1988 to present. Let's go ahead and turn around and take a look at the back. Just like with the Chip collectible action figure, you can see only three figures on there, Chip, Dale, and Zipper. Uh, it would be nice if they included Monterey Jack and Gadget. Uh, then they'd have the whole crew. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look inside. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at Zipper. Zipper, of course, is a fly friend of Chippendale. And he is pretty much just a staction figure. There's a little bit of paint bleeding there. It uh, looks like they got a drop of yellow paint from the eyes on the bottom of his cheek. Uh, also, the paint is not as crisp on his shirt as it is with the other figures. As you can see from the bottom edge there, uh, kind of a sloppy paint job if you ask me. Uh, his wings do not move, his head does not move, his waist does not move, neither do his arms. He's, he's just a staction figure. So we'll go ahead and set him to the side. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at Dale. Uh, one of the main differences between Chip and Dale, obviously, uh, how you can usually tell them apart is Dale has the red nose while Chip has a black nose. Also, Chip's teeth are more separated and off to the side. While Dale's teeth, I mean... Dale's teeth are separated, while Chip's teeth are straight in the middle, as you can see. That's how I always told that could tell them apart in the original shorts. Um, obviously, there's a lot more now. 
Uh, Dale is, of course, dressed like Magnum P.I. with his Hawaiian shirts and his chest hair sticking out. As I said, Dale is the goofier one of the two. Uh, more fun-loving, a likable character. They're both very likable, but Dale is more of a fun character. Uh, his head does turn all the way around. It is on a slight ball joint. It can rock up and down it's slightly side to side, but mainly just rock up and down and turn around. Just like with Chip, his arms can go up like that. His arms can actually go up higher because he doesn't have the fur around his collar. And they go back down. Just like that. Uh, elbow joint and go that far. He can actually make his arms a lot straighter than Baloo or Chip. Which is actually pretty nice. Uh, waist articulation. Uh, it is kind of stiff. Uh, the shirt and the tail do not hinder it at all. And his legs can go all the way around. Now you're going to want to... You'll probably want to stand him straight up like this, but as I've said before, that makes him back heavy. So what you do, just bring him forward just a tiny bit. It'll naturally, naturally go into that position. And he stands straight up. Uh, the paint job on this character is very nice, very crisp. I don't really see much in the way of paint bleeding at all, except maybe right there. A little bit of brown came off uh, but overall not bad uh, especially with all the little details the uh, Hawaiian flowers on his shirt uh, if there was going to be much paint bleeding uh, one would expect that it would be on the shirt but obviously there is none so there you have it my friends this was the Disney Afternoon, Disney Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Dale, and Zipper, collectible action figures. And you know what, while we're at it, let's go ahead and put him next to Chip. Which they are roughly about the same size if Chip was not wearing the hat. Uh, let's go ahead and put... Blue the bear in there with them. As you can see, they are quite a bit smaller than Blue the bear. So we're going to go and back this camera up just a little bit. And we're going to add Uncle Scrooge McDuck into the mix as well. I have not managed to come across a Darkwing Duck yet. Um, I kind of had the opportunity to get it when I got Scrooge, but I ultimately decided to get Uncle Scrooge instead. So I kind of missed out on that. I'll have to order them online at some point. But, as I said, this was the Disney Afternoon. Disney Chippendale Rescue Rangers Dale and Zipper collectible action figures from Funko. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, and if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss out on notifications from all our videos. Also, go ahead and hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Let us know which one of these is your favorite character. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.